Professor's Glasses here. I'm here to talk to you about something very important. Now, you've noticed that many people around the world like to use the dirty words. You know what I'm talking about. They like to use the four letter words. You call them the one syllables, if you will. The naughty no nos. So I thought it would be helpful for me to get some of the words from the old British language. I found five that would be very useful in describing those who you might find to be little stinkers. Now, the first word is one that can be used in a plethora of things. The first word is known as bollocks. Now, bollocks means a liar or something that's not true or just downright dastardly. Okay, now the bollocks is a great word. Like, how did you feel about the X Factors TV show? Bollocks! How did you feel about grandma's cooking? Bollocks! How did you feel about the Super Bowl? Bollocks! Oh no, you burned the biscuits! Bollocks! Word number two, gobshite. Gobshite is someone who talks bollocks. So it's like, hey, listen to that gobshite over there. He's talking bollocks. Perfect? I think so. A twat. Now, a twat is someone who spends a lot of time being a gobshite. Someone who shags around. I'm not going to tell you what shags means, but I think you get the idea. You could use it in a phrase like, if a man goes up to someone and says something mean, you could be like, you're being a gobshite. That'll tell him. Numpty. A numpty is someone who fails on every level of what they were trying to do. They're a complete and utter failure. Numpty is a stupid person. Okay, so instead of saying, hey, you, beep, 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 you could say, you're a stupid person. Or you take it to the next level, you're a numpty. I sure showed him. That's a numpty. Hmm. That's about right. Minging. Okay, now minging is a fun word. It's a word that's very disgusting. That's exactly what it means. Disgusting. So you say, hey, I got that creepy little crawler thing in the back of my fridge. It's a minger. That pile of socks and underpants that's been sitting there for a week is minging. What is that minging smell? Kind of sounds like a phone that's cursing. Minging, minging. Here's a bonus one for you. Bog. A bog is where you go to do the business. Hmm? Yeah. It's a lot funner than saying toilet, isn't it? Gonna go use the old bog. It's way better than saying restroom. It's taking it to a whole natural level. These are your words for today. I hope you learned something. And I hope we can all use these words in our everyday language. Have a good day. Yeah. Gonna go use the old bog to create a fog. <laughs>